So, Sharice, tell me what's going on. So, I've had a boob job in Turkey two years ago. OK, and so you went to, to Turkey um, and, and was this your first operation? No, so I'd had a boob job when I was 18 and then I'd had a little boy since then, so they dropped. Um, so I was due to get them done again anyway. Were you on your own? I was on my own. My mum couldn't fly because of COVID. I ended up having horrific injuries out there. My, I ended so up sorry. losing my nipple. So the nipple came off? Yeah which means the blood supply must have been compromised or... They'd cut an artery and put the implant on top of it to stop the bleed and then sewed me up. And I ended up in intensive care. I've been left with really bad scarring, um, shaping issues with my boobs, really knocking my confidence down. The worst issue I have is just getting into new sexual relationships and having to explain, because I'm going to have to take my top off at some point. I have to relive it all again. And it does hurt, it does upset me. How did you manage all of this? I had concerns over my boob anyway when I was out there because it was going purple. I ended up with a gaping hole in my chest. And then clearly the nipple graft then didn't take and then the tissue started dying. Yeah. Gosh. Do you have a photo, perhaps? Yeah. I'd love to have a look if you don't mind. So that's at the site where the nipples come off? Yes. Necrosis is the death of tissue. It develops when the blood being pumped around the body gets cut off to an area of skin. Eventually, healthy cells are starved of oxygen, causing the surrounding tissue to turn black and die. This is what happened during Charisse's surgery, where arterial damage prevented blood flow and caused her nipple to fall off. Would you mind if we examined you? That's fine. So you note the keloid scarring that you've got here, so the scar's overgrown and it's thicker than it should be and it's out of the scar line, isn't it? Yeah. This is where you had some necrosis of this nipple, isn't it? The darker scarring in this area? Yeah, that's where it started to spread. And so then you've yeah. got the blood supply here was disrupted. You, was this the bit that peeled away? So this was the hole in the picture that I showed you. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you do have, unfortunately, a little bit of irregular scarring there as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, squaring of the breast underneath here yeah. um, and a sort of sort of slight bulge at the side. I think there are lots of options here. You definitely need some help. Clearly it is affecting your mental health. Your view on your breast, it brings it back every time you look at them, doesn't yeah. it? So what I'd really like to do is get you to see a plastic surgeon specialising in breast implants, seeing what they can do with the breast implants you've currently got, whether they need to be reshaped, see what can be done with the nipple, see if anything can be done with the scar. Try and restore those breasts to a shape that you're much more comfortable with. That'd be brilliant. I think that'd really help boost my confidence. Thank you so much for coming in. Perfect. Thank you very much. He starts by addressing Charisse's left breast, which is currently more square than round, before moving on to her misshapen areola. One of the things here is to try and soften that scar because you've got some thickening around the scar there. What I'd recommend is some silicon scar therapy there. I'm really excited to have a normal pair of boobs. I mean, no one's going to stop me this summer. I might be topless on the beach. <laughs> So how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. How did it go? Really well. I'm really happy with the results. Are you? Yeah, I'm really happy. Do you mind if we have a look? Yeah, let's go. A lot better. I mean, it's incredible, because the problem you had before was you had quite a squared off left yeah. breast, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. And the nipple looks much more prominent and obvious now, because that had completely fallen off, hadn't it? Yeah. Did they take out the implants, or did they use the same ones? No, so I kept my implants in, because um, I didn't have any issues with the implants that I currently had. Uh, it was just the scarring. Great. And so tell me what he did there. Um, so I had the scar underneath yep. revised so they were both round. And um, the scar in here removed and then steroids into the kilo scar. Yep. The, particularly here, you see it's much flatter, isn't it? A lot it? flatter. Yeah. I am really, really happy with them. Oh, you look really smiley. Yeah. I'm really glad for you.